Whenever you talk about Palau, the first thing people say, go to Jellyfish Lake. 100%. It's like the iconic thing to do yeah. in Palau. This is gonna be a once in a lifetime experience. Jellyfish Lake in Palau, we're just moments away. Somewhere in the remote Pacific Island nation of Palau, there is a lake with over 5 million golden jellyfish swimming inside of it. Been dreaming about coming here for years and years and years, and we finally made it. This mysterious lake surrounded by lush vegetation and towering cliffs is a unique ecosystem that got disconnected from the ocean millions of years ago. Jellyfish were trapped inside with no natural predators. The jellyfish population has evolved over time to be different because they lost their ability to sting and they rely on photosynthesis from the algae that lives within their bodies. And that's exactly why you can swim freely in the lake without having to worry about getting stung. I recently spent two weeks in Palau and this was absolutely the best experience and memory for my trip. That was one of the coolest experiences. It's honestly one of those things that you have to see it to believe it. So sit tight as I take you on a wild journey to visit the one and only Jellyfish Lake. Deep into the wilderness we go. Yes we are. And this guy over here is barefoot. <laughs> Just like uh, we absorb energy from the sun and feel great when it's a sunny day, there's a Japanese term for walking in the woods. It's interesting that we almost hike straight upwards to go back downwards yeah. to the lake. How did Jellyfish Lake start? The most plausible theory is that as it closed off from the ocean, the jellyfish got trapped inside the lagoon. And with no natural predators, they lost all the ability to sting. Yeah, I guess the only reason they would sting is to kill off something or yep. someone. So. Yeah, it's for feeding. Basically, they've adapted to their environment. Yep. Yeah, humans do that too. Yeah. Humans adapt to their environments, animals adapt to their environments. And this is one of 52 marine lakes in Palau, but this is the only one open to the public. Oh. And they do this to protect all the other marine lakes. There's the lake. Yeah. First glimpses. Wow, this is stunning, dude. Here we are, the iconic jellyfish lake of Palau. Been dreaming about coming here for years and years and years. And we finally made it. And here we go. Those like are the, the jellyfish. There they are. They're like orangey. We have already spotted a few of the jellyfish, but we need to get deeper into it. Yeah, we're gonna see so many more. So oh, let's yeah. get in the water. Let's do it, broski. Millions upon millions of beautiful jellyfish were swimming around me, as if I had entered another galaxy. I could literally hear the sound of my heart beating out of my chest. It was unbelievable. Gosh, that is incredible. As far as I can see, just surrounded by jellyfish. Wow, spectacular. Oh, cool! Oh my god! Coolest things I've ever done, heads down. Jellyfish Lake in Palau. That was an epic experience. Jellyfish Lake in Palau, one of a kind. This country is just keeps on impressing. It just keeps getting better and better. That experience that we just had is nowhere else in the world can do that. I mean, that was just truly spectacular. 